Welcome to the overview of the MyView page. The MyView page is your virtual desktop that shows all the tasks that are assigned to you. Task information can be accessed directly from the MyView page for ease of use. During this video you will learn how to filter by statuses, how to use and access the action icons, how to access different views, how to navigate through the grid format, how to use the quick search, how to create a task, and where to find your user profile. Let's begin by logging into CCH Access Workflow. Once you log into Workflow, the My View page is the first page that will appear. The My View page contains a grid with the details of various tasks that are assigned to you. You can sort through your tasks by using this pie icon. This will show you all of the statuses of the tasks that are currently assigned to you. Also, if you click on the client name of a task in blue, it will bring you to the task control sheet page. This is where you will see all the details of the task. Now we will go through the different areas of the My View page. Reports is where you can create and save reports, such as My Reports or Firm Reports for future use. Scheduler will be displayed if the firm uses Scheduler. Scheduler is used to schedule current tasks and future tasks. Quick Search this feature makes your search process faster and involves minimum entry of search criteria. You can search by the client's last name, the entity name, or client number. As you continue to type, it will narrow down the results. If you want to search on more criteria you can use the advanced search, by clicking the magnifying glass. Next, is the video icon. Clicking on this will bring you to video trainings for the application. Next, you will see the question mark icon. By clicking on this you will be directed the to support help center. Here you can find documentation and different help files. We also have your firm name as well as the gear icon. The gear icon is the link to the utility section. You will need certain user rights to be able to access these utilities. Your name is mentioned here. If you click on it, you can access your profile, your calendar if your firm is utilizing scheduler. And to log off, you will click on the arrow. The My View page is the first page you will see after you log in. My tasks is the default view in this page. You can choose up to seven independent views that you can pin in the My View page. Views that can be pinned in the My View page can now be customized in the User Preferences section of the Manage Users utility. We will now look at some of the views that can be pinned. My Extensions contains all the extension tasks assigned to me. My Checklist shows me how many tasks that I have assigned checklist items for. Admin Tasks are tasks that are not assigned to a particular user. Administrators can monitor what tasks are ready to be assembled and shipped in this view. You can view the full listing, or you can sort by status. Some of you may just have the Views option. The Views menu displays all in-process tasks that are not listed under Tasks assigned to me. When you click on a view, it will show those tasks. Let's now talk about the icons on the right side of the page. The first icon is the refresh icon. This updates all the data in the user's current view to its most current state. The next icon is the filter icon. This will allow users to filter data in the current view based on the criteria they select. Next is the sort columns. This allows users to organize their columns in an order they would prefer. This can be done by selecting one of the available columns and dragging it and dropping into the sortable columns. The next icon is the show column. Users are able to edit the columns on a user level. For example, if you are in the audit department and you do not have to use extensions, you can eliminate those columns from the My View grid by unchecking the boxes. Those columns will be removed. The last icon is the export to Excel icon. Users can click on this to export the tasks into an Excel file. Now we will discuss how to add a task through the My View page. By clicking on Add Task, it will bring users to a new page. From here, users can search for the clients by name. When you start typing, the clients will start to appear. Choose the client that you are adding the task for. Next, users can select the task type. For example, let's select Tax 1065 Partnership. Next, users will enter the period end date. They can manipulate the date by clicking in the period end date section. This will open a calendar. Users also have the option to add a description to a task. Descriptions are used when creating duplicate tasks. It will allow the application to decipher between the two. Once the information has been filled in, users can click on Save and Next. This will bring you to the Task Setup Wizard. 
The next step here would be to add any deliverable that pertains to the task and update any of the custom fields. When clicking on Save and Open, it will open the task control sheet where all the task details are. Finally, clicking on Save and Done, will just complete the task creation and bring the user back to their My View page. Moving into the functionality of the grid. Users have the ability to customize their grid. Similar to Excel, the column headers can be clicked on to sort the data, and users can also make the columns larger or smaller, by dragging the header. On the left side of the page, users will see the slide filter view. This works similar to the views pie icon. If the user only wants to see the tasks in the review status, they can click only and it will display only those tasks. This allows the user to manage their My View page in a manner that works best for them. If the user does not want to use the slide filter they can hide it, by clicking on the arrow. To have this always remain closed. Users can click on the push pin so it is unpinned. The user will then have to log off and log back in for the change to stick. Users can always open again by clicking on the arrow. Lastly, we will discuss the action buttons. The action buttons are task info, move task, add points, and create extensions. These buttons will be displayed, once you select one or more tasks from the grid. To select a task or tasks, users will click in the boxes. From here, users can access the task information that is in the control sheet. They can move a task, add any points or create an extension. One thing to mention is, users cannot move tasks from multiple categories. A pop-up will show letting the user know the action buttons are grayed out. This concludes this video tutorial on the MyView page.